Hello Year 5 and welcome to your English lesson for today. Now I've given you quite a bit of work to do for your English work today and that is purely because we did something very similar when we did our Tuesday book back in January. Do you remember? We did our interview process from the police reports then we wrote a newspaper. So I know I'm always going to test you on how much you learned when we did that unit of writing but you've got complete freedom today to write it and do it however you want. So let me introduce you to our lessons. So there's been an attack on literature. Okay, so this is breaking news. World Book Day is being interrupted by this news report right now. Okay, so the Anti Word League has struck. Okay, they're, they're capturing authors of all genres and stopping them from writing. So that's it, no more books. Books are being stolen off shelves. Authors are being kidnapped and they're being hidden. They're having their pens and pencils and computers taken away from them. That's it, no more writing. And everyone is in danger. Now, the police fear that words may start disappearing from history. I know what you're saying, Miss Humphrey, you're making a really big deal out of this, but seriously, that's it, words are gonna go. I mean, I don't know what you think I'm gonna start teaching when we come back. If these words don't come back, I'm not gonna be able to write anything for our lessons. So I'm not gonna learn anything. That is a travesty, okay? So all members of public have been urged to assist the police with their investigation. So I've sent you home some of the evidence, okay, to almost build a picture, of what happened, okay? Because World Book Day is cancelled. Unless you guys solve this, well, World Book Day is cancelled. You can forget it happening next year. That's it, done, dusted. So this is the evidence extract from the author. So this manuscript excerpts, this is almost like an extract, was found in the home of Isla Rutherford. Okay, this was moments after her family realised that she was missing, okay? So you've got a copy of these in front of you, but I'm gonna quickly read through them. We'll have a quick chat about them. So then I'll then explain what your task is. So when the cool calm winds had settled, Ocean waited for them to return. He was going to be better this time. This time he knew what he should do. He should call for them the minute he heard them. Or should he? He started to doubt himself, lying there hiding in the reeds of the riverbank. His chest started to ache. So someone's hiding. Help, it's me, Isla. I can hear someone outside my office. No several people or things i'm not sure i'm worried they're gonna break in I'm getting lots of banging and loud thuds in our lounge it sounds as though they're pulling all the books off the shelves my phone's run out of battery but i'm emailing my agent and i hope you find this note it's 12 by 1 and they're coming up the stairs i'm gonna hide under my desk now please know that i love you kiss i kiss hmm. so there's evidence here from the author just before she vanished now we've got evidence here from the scientist. Now these experiment notes were reported to have missing words by the scientist, Rhiannon Formsby. So she's got all of her science notes here, but we're missing words from it. Alongside it, the periodic table of elements is blank. So the periodic table of elements is a period, um, it's a table, and it's got all the different elements of things that make up our world. And they've usually got little symbols and little letters to describe what they are. And it's completely blank. Again, all those scientific journals with those hours of research, gone. That's it. History and science, we understand it, wiped, gone. Okay? So this is her research notes from the 6th of March, 2019. So this is the last day of our 60-day cycle of experiments. If the mixture show no changes day and remain stable all day, we'll have successfully found the cure. Oh, what is this? The cure? Cure for what? So, 7am, the mix is settled, no changes. RF. 7.15, mix settled, no changes, RF. 7.30, mix settled, no changes, RF. 7.45, the words on the labels of mixtures have all disappeared. We can't read the labels to know which mixture we're working on. I spotted a man running out of the secure lab, holding what looked like some kind of wand. Experiment halted. So they've now lost all their data to find the cure. We don't even know what that cure is for. Now here we've now got the police log. Again, this is very similar to what we did with Tuesday when we looked at our police log. So the attending officer's name was PC Lee Whitfield. And this was on the 5th of March, 2019. So this has taken two years for us to be able to investigate this story. Okay, because it's happened again. So the incident notes are officers were called and dispatched to address in Hendon, northwest London, at 1700 hours. So 1700 hours is five o'clock in the evening. On arrival, the officers could see that all the books were on the floor. This was a substantial amount of books, possibly 250, as Professor Manning resides at this address. Professor Manning was very distressed and explained to the officers all of the words simply vanished. On checking the books, which looked like, you know, to be bulky philosophical texts, I can confirm that they were all empty of words. Nothing. 
There's nothing there. It's all gone. Empty. So that's the police log that you've got there. And then it continues. I was interviewing Professor Manning when one of her neighbours, Mr O'Clement, ran in shouting at me. He'd just seen a figure running out of his home, leaving books with no words on the floor. This was followed by several other neighbours, 15 in total, running out to the street, shouting that the words in the books had disappeared. Officer's notes. Add to Sergeant's report and supply this information to Commissioner for press release. So press release is when they announce it to the public on the news or on the TV. Ongoing investigation. Officers reassured residents of Reading Road, Hendon, <laughs> Reading Road, get it? That this will be investigated and prints have been taken off a sample of books from each home. Police in Yorkshire are working with a focus group of authors and illustrators to assist their investigations and to try and locate the mysterious figures thought to be members of the anti word League on CCTV. Okay. So, you've got the police report and you've got evidence from professors and the writers. Okay. And we've now got to report on this. Okay. Now, because we've had so many new cases about all these words disappearing from different journals, from different books, from people's homes, the police and the press are at full capacity. That's it. There's no more people left to help. Okay. And these newspaper reports have got to be written. Again, there's a shortage of journalists. The journalists are people that write the news effectively. So I've identified you. You're our key people now. You're going to be those writers. So you're all going to be journalists for today. And you need to report on one of the stories, okay, that we've looked at, okay, based on one of our, um, not suspects, what are they called, victims, okay? So you've got two jobs that you need to do, okay? So firstly, you need to imagine that you're one of the victims, okay? So you could base yourself on one of the characters. You could be the professor. You could be the author. Okay, you could be one of the neighbours. And the Anti-Word League has stolen some words from a book or document precious to you, Okay. And then secondly, if you're at school, you can do this with somebody else. You can pair up with a classmate and you can use the following questions to interview them as a character. So you've got the sheet at home. You could like have a bit of an interview. Equally, though, what you're going to need to do, though, if you are going to interview or even if you're just going to do this at home, you need to write yourself a script. You need to write yourself what those questions and answers are going to be. Now, if we think back to when we did this with Tuesday, you've got to remember to ask open ended questions. You need to ask questions that are going to get a long answer from them. You don't want to be asking questions that are going to be yes and no answers. OK, so you're going to need to then interview them. So if you're at school, you can practice this. If you're just at home, you can just write your script. OK, so you need to write down what your questions are going to be OK, and what the character is that's asking. Is it going to be the police? Is it going to be the journalist? And then you need to think of some responses and answers based on the evidence that you've been given. OK, and then what you're going to do is you're then going to get writing it to newspapers. And I've sent this sheet home. OK, just as a guidance to you. OK, but you know how much you should be writing and how many questions you need to be giving yourself about eight, you know, six to eight questions as a minimum. But you need to have some good answers in there. Use your imagination. OK, make it up as you go along. OK, think of a backstory. Think of the book Tuesday. He did the interview, didn't he? When they spoke to the main guy and he was just sat at home. He was sat watching the TV, was eating his sandwich. You know, we created a backstory for the character to give him more of a personality and a, and a character setting to him. So I want you to have a go at first of all, writing up your interview notes. OK, so you need to write a script. OK. If you've done that and then you're at school, by all means, interview each other. See if you can bounce some ideas off each other. Then what you need to do is you then need to turn those notes into a newspaper. Now, what I suggest you do, once you've written your interview questions, I would take some of your responses and I would write them using speech. OK, so I'm going to send home the speech burger bit for you to remember how to do your reporters, uh, your direct speech. But I want you to make sure that you've got an example of reported speech and direct speech. OK, I'm also going to send home the toolkit so you know how to structure our newspaper report. Now, I've sent this home to you as a template, but equally you can draw it out yourself or design it yourself on lined paper. You don't have to use this. This is just an example of how to set out your newspaper report. OK, so you're going to have a go at doing your interview questions. Then if you're at school, you can have a practice at modeling that together. OK, and you can almost act it out. Then you're going to have a go at writing some of those in speech bubbles, some of the responses, so that when you come to write your newspaper report, you've got one of them for reported speech where there's no speech marks, one of them for um, direct speech where you can use your speech marks. And I'll send all the toolkits home to help you. OK, so that is your challenge. OK, today, if you don't solve this, that's it. There's no World Book Day. There'll be no World Book Day next year. OK, that's it. It'll be scrapped. It'll be gone. I'll have no words to be able to teach you when we come back to school. Um, I mean, your your education is hanging in the balance here, Year Five, and I mean, I can't do I can't do it on my own. I was like, I I need you to help me, okay? So have a go 
okay put, put your reporting hats on okay think about what we did when we did the tuesday work with your speech bubbles and your just script and and have a go okay and i look forward to reading your newspapers before i send them out to the press tomorrow morning okay so you better make them good all right good luck your five